Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the Real Crypto Space, and today's video is going to be on Pancake Swap, uh, Cake Token. Welcome back to the Real Crypto Space. As you guys may know, we are going to be talking about Cake, and this is not financial advice, so always do your own research, and hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. So if you don't know what Pancake Swap itself is, which is the platform um, where Cake is a native token to uh, the platform, um, it is a decentralized exchange allowing investors to swap BEP20 which is Binance Smart Chain um, for the tokens that aren't that are built on the Binance Smart Chain but aren't listed anywhere so it means you can list your tokens on the pancake swap so people can buy it as long as you provide the liquidity um, but if we look at the token here it's done quite well this week um, and yeah if we look here in the last week it's done quite well in the last week um, and uh, all-time high is $44 so we have a long way to go to be that all-time high if that would happen as there's a lot more um, competitors for PancakeSwap um, since then. So many more competitors and there's a few better ones as well. But this is still the most known one at a $2 billion market cap currently. But you need to take into account all the competitors, uh, ones that include bridging as well, such as Orion Protocol. Um, You've got to take that into account and think about... Um, the competitors how could it reach its all-time high now there's more competitors than there was back then and better ones as well um, so if you did buy all-time high it's definitely worth thinking about that um, so if we get into the technical analysis on cake okay, so as we can see from the chart this is cake and uh, from what we can see daily charts been trend trending lower and lower and lower and it does seem like we may have found a bottom which we are hoping we, we have hopefully because as you guys can see here, after a massive trend in market, we do tend to consolidate before we do start to expand higher. And in my opinion, I do think that there is a possibility that we may end up expanding higher. But unfortunately, as of right now, we are not sure exactly where we may, we may be even like starting to expand to. So if we do bring out the lines, as you can see right here. So because no analysis is good without lines. So if you check out $6. That could be a nice psychological number for where price May want to be bouncing off, and uh, it does seem like we did go lower here, so maybe five dollars and fifty. Okay, around that price, and that's why it looks like we did bounce. If we do go on a daily time frame, we did have a nice extrapolated pump up higher, but this is not something that is looking very, very bullish, as you can see here. This is not something that is looking like a nice bull market. We went from five dollars fifty to seven dollars and five cents so this could be the start hopefully it is because you know we have been in a massive downward trend and it has been dropping like crazy the four hour time frame shows us we you know we have got a nice um bullish trend which is what we want to be seeing and you know as of right now we can only expect that the price of this cryptocurrency can continue to move higher and potentially start to you know consolidate before we do you know make higher highs which we are hoping to see in you know the cryptocurrency price as you can see here, the hourly time frame looks extremely bullish. However, one thing that is concerning me is this trend line. You know, it is too good to be, you know, true. It is too good for perfection. As you can see, it's most likely going to be breaking lower, which we don't want to be seeing. As soon as it breaks lower and retests it, that is not like an opportunity for it to drop even lower, which is not very, very bullish at all. And yeah. So uh, that is now the end of the video. If you feel like you've taken any value from watching this video, then please make sure you press that like button and also press that subscribe button. It really does help us out and we really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. Have a lovely rest of your day.